Skating dreams of all sorts could soon become reality for kids in Reseda and the Valley, thanks to Councilmember Bob Blumenfield and Hockey Hall of Famer and L.A. Kings President Luke Robitaille. The two have signed an agreement to build the Reseda Ice Rink, the city's first year-round public ice facility. Day in and day out, it's going to be used by, by kids in leagues, by people who want to figure skate and practice their figure skating, by even the curling team. We love the game of hockey and to have another opportunity, a bigger opportunity to share the game that we love so much, the, the, the opportunity of kids skating, you know, it's not just about hockey. We're going to have a lot of figure skaters going there, a lot of public sessions. Everything we do today from, you know, building youth hockey in China to playing games in Utah, uh, to build an ice rinks in the valley is about growing the game. Blumenfield found the funds through Prop K approved by voters in the 90s. Still, it wasn't enough to build a first class $26 million rink. I call Rec and Parks, hey, what can we do with, with $3.9 million? And at the end of the day, they could build a couple of ice cubes. That's about it. He approached the Kings and said, I want to build a rink and I have money. They said, great. And then he said, oh, by the way, I have three million and it cost 26. Blumenfield kept calling. Now, years later, he finally has the money and a building site on Sherman Way in Reseda. For him, it's part of a larger plan. The idea is to transform that area with catalytic development and, and making Sherman Way from what it is right now, which is a street with great bones, but that has been suffering into uh, a great street in Los Angeles. This is one of several practice rinks at the Toyota Sports Center in El Segundo, but the Reseda rink will be even larger than this. It will be a professional regulation sized rink. In other words, a rink like the Toyota Center's biggest rink where the LA Kings play. It's going to bring amazing opportunities for a lot of youth who would have otherwise never had an opportunity to skate or participate in hockey. Groundbreaking could begin as early as next year.